I'm sorry. I mean, I couldn't breathe. Please. I don't know. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't get through to him. I couldn't. I couldn't get up. I couldn't get up. And I don't know how that ended. I don't know. I don't know how. I don't know what happened next. I don't understand. <laughs> I when I the, the next thing I remember I was bent over um, backwards on the bar, meaning my chest was up. I was staring at the blue lights, and my chest was on this. My back was on the countertops, and I. Thought he was punching me. I thought he was. I'm sorry. <laughs> he was. His... I felt this pressure. I felt this pressure. He on my pubic bone. And I... He thought he was. I thought he was punching me. I just saw his arm. I could feel his arm moving, and I, it looked like he was punching me. But I could just feel this pressure. It was like it kept hitting. It didn't feel pain. It was just a pressure on my pubic bone, and. I, I don't know. I, I don't remember what I said. I just remember being really still, not wanting to move. I remember looking around the room. I remember looking at all the broken bottles, broken glass, and I remember that it's just not wanting to move because I didn't know if it was broken. I didn't know if the bottle that he had inside me was broken. I couldn't feel it. I couldn't feel it. I didn't feel pain. I didn't feel pain, I didn't feel anything. I just I didn't want it. I didn't, I looked around and I saw so much broken glass that I didn't know if he would know, if he would know, um, I didn't know if he would know if it was broken or not. And I just remember thinking, please God, please. Thank you so much. I hope it's not broken. I don't know how that ended. I don't know how I got off the countertop. I, I just remember it being in the bathroom. I remember retching. I remember the sound my voice was making. I remember I lost control of my bladder. I remember just retching. I remember there was blood on the floor. Um, I got up at some point. I 
don't know how that night ended. I don't remember what happened. I don't remember. I have a memory of him begging me not to leave. I remember going outside the front door. I remember him coming out to the front area, but I, I, I don't remember. If that was before or after this, I, I don't remember. I just have that memory. I remember uh, taking a bunch of sleeping pills. Not a bunch, like two, which is a lot for me. <clears throat> I remember falling asleep or I don't remember falling asleep, but I know I fell asleep because I woke up the next day. Um, I assume it was late morning. Um, he, I could hear him downstairs. Uh, I could hear Marilyn Manson um, music, not in person. I could hear the music. Maybe he said it was Marilyn or maybe I could uh, recognize it. I don't remember, but I became aware of it. That's what I was hearing. It was blaring. It became clear. <laughs> Obvious to me when I walked downstairs, he was still up. He hadn't gone to sleep again. Um, I uh, walked downstairs and I saw this um, brown on the walls going down the stairs. And the brown on the walls became clear, like it became clear, like lettering. And then it was obvious it was uh, dried blood. He had written down this, that we had a spiral staircase, like white cream walls. Uh, there was blood uh, on the carpet. Um, I could see blood drips. Uh, I, I thought it was from my arms or feet, but it was drips. So that plus the wall writing, I saw this brown letters on the wall and then realized that he was trying, that, that it was a, meant to be a message, but it was incoherent. Um, I saw what looked like my name, um, but I really couldn't uh, make out m most of the rest of the message walking down the stairs. Uh, I saw a bird in the house. <sighs> that was surreal. I went down to the main level where my painting studio was, and I had some canvases out. It was in the living room area. And oh, by the time I got down to the bottom of the stairs, um, the the dried blood had been kind of taken over by a paint. It was um, blue, navy blue paint, and then brown paint. <clears throat> and uh, then it was, you know, on the walls, on the um, lampshades, pillow uh, pillowcases of the of the sofa, the sofa cu cushions. There was blood. In the painting studio, the paint, my canvases had been covered with what looked like just brown, blue, green, red mess. It was just a mess. There was a painting that had, uh, you know, a, a painting that the owners had that had, um, you know, like giant penis on it and, you know, some other things. There was a table overturned, a bunch of broken glass on that, on that. Floor. I walked downstairs where I heard the music coming from, and that's where I found him, um, blaring this music. He was in the study, which is in the by the bar games table area off to the side, and it was just glass and blood and broken windows and a broken window and it just it looked like a mess. The table was collapsed, and I. I walked into the study. Um, there was a, a couple unbroken, empty bottles. I remember wondering where they came from. Uh, and he just looked, he wasn't there anymore. He wasn't there. It wasn't Johnny.